my friend. I'm so glad you're able to join me here for a slice and a piece of cake. My friend, it is self-heating Sunday supper. For those of you brand new to my channel, welcome. Bienvenue. Pull up a chair and stay a while. It is self-heating Sunday supper, and today I am going to be redeeming myself. Yes, I am. This is the spicy seafood hot pot the self-heating hot pot. Now, I actually did a tomato-based seafood self-heating hot pot, and I screwed up. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess because I've never actually been to a hot pot restaurant, I thought it was just the broth and you were gonna dip your food items in the hot broth, but that's not how this self-heating pot works. So today I am going to be redeeming myself with the spicy seafood flavored hot pot. Now, I picked this up at TNT. They have a variety of self-heating meals. And they range in price from anywhere between $5.99 to $12.99. I got this on sale. I believe it was on clearance for $5.99. This is the brand Shu Long Can. Again, this is a self-heating uh, seafood hot pot. It's 455 grams. So my friends, Let's take a look at the contents of this spicy seafood flavored hot pot. So here's the inner tray. So this is the package of goodness. It looks like vermicelli. It looks like tofu and some kind of fish ball. We have the sauce. And this is the chemical pack that uh, will cook this hot pot. Okay, so let's get cooking. This is what's in the spicy seafood hot pot. We have konjac noodles. We have lotus root. We have, looks like a bamboo shoot. We have potatoes, mushrooms, uh, kelp, and this looks like a fish ball. This kind of looks like tofu. So this is seafood hot pot. And this is the seasoning pack. So these are the instructions. Step number one, place the seasoning pack in the inner bowl. To me, the seasoning pack is this, okay? because they call this the vegetable pack. They have a seafood seasoning, which is the fish balls. They have a vegetable pack, which was the bamboo shoots, the lotus root. Then they have a konjac noodle pack, which was the konjac noodles. Then the last one is the base package. The base package is this. So when I read the instructions last time, this is where I got confused because it said, place the seasoning pack in the inner bowl, add water up to one centimeter to the edge of the inner bowl. It did not say to put the seafood seasoning. It did not say to put the vegetable pack. It did not say to put the noodle pack in, right? Am I reading this correctly? It just says put the seasoning pack in the inner bowl. Add water to one centimeter to the edge of the inner bowl. It didn't say anything about putting all of it in. So then the third step after that is place the heating bag in the bottom of the outer bowl and add cold water to reach the line. Place the inner bowl onto the outer bowl and cover it. Wait for 15 minutes. Where did it say to put the... I've since learned we're going to put the vegetable pack, the konjac noodles, and the seafood seasoning in this inner bowl. All right, that's what we're going to do. Putting this all in this time. Put the lotus roots at the bottom. I think apparently this is like a potato. So we're putting all of this in. By the way, I did rinse all of it in water because I don't know what it was sitting in.
I'm gonna put this in. It does look very spicy. It smells very spicy. Now I'm gonna add water, I think up to here. So next we're gonna put this heating bag at the bottom of this outer tray. I don't know if you can see that line there, but that's where we're gonna put the water to, I believe. That's the fill line. Now, once you put the water in, things happen really fast. Now we're gonna put the inner tray on top. I'm gonna put the lid on top. So as you can see, you see the steam? Instantaneous. So we're gonna set the timer. minutes. So all the self-heating meals that I have tried, they all are 15 minutes. Okay, so do you see where I went wrong last time? I don't think it was me. I think it was the directions that were listed. It looks like it's croaker fish. I don't think that was tofu. I think it was a, a fish cake. So the vegetable pack, there's potato, shiitake, mushrooms, kelp, lotus root, bamboo shoots, Auricularia polytrica. I don't know what that is. And there's konjac noodles. For the base package, soybean oil, MSG, chili, salt, pixie and broad bean, yeast extract, spices, garlic, shallot, ginger, fermented soybean, sugars, cumin, soy protein seasoning, disodium 5, ribon nucleotide, artificial flavor paprika. Contains wheat, soy, croaker, fish, squid, peanut. May contain shrimp, gluten, sesame, sulfite. In any case, it's hot already gets hot really fast. This is the product of China. The nutrition facts per one box, it's 630 calories. Oh my goodness. I hope you can see this, my friend. 6,370 milligrams of sodium. Oh my gosh. It says 5% or less is a little, 50% or more is a lot. And the sodium was 277% of your daily value. Thank goodness I won't be drinking any of the liquid. I don't think so. And look for it at TNT. They also have a tomato flavored seafood hot pot. Again, they have a variety of the self-heating hot pots at TNT, but honestly, I think this is like good to have when you are in a pinch. You come home from work, you're tired, you don't want to cook. You just put water in this and it's ready in 15 minutes. It's for those lazy days, but no, I don't think you'd be wanting to eat this on a regular basis. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it, but I did buy this a hot pot seasoning sauce. I picked this up at TNT as well. This was, I think, $2.29. Peanut butter, water, sugars. Maltodextrin. Soybean oil, Chinese chive, soybean, uh, mana, sodium, glutamate, oyster, sesame oil, yeast extract, wheat flour, disodium inosinate, disodium uh, guanolite. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, We'll move on. Cornstarch, caramel color, contains peanut, soybean, sesame, oyster, wheat. 
This is the product of China's. I wonder if it's kind of like a, like a peanut sauce. The TNT that I go to, they have very limited hot pot uh, sauces lately. I don't know, I think hot pot is a thing that people do at home, so maybe that's why it's always kind of soda. About 10 minutes remaining. Well, I think they need to reword the instructions because I don't think it was me last time. Again, I will link the video at the end. This is the little multi cooker that I got from Timu. In their infomercial, they did do hot pot. So I do have one of these Lee Kum Kee. This is the soup base for seafood hot pot. So I might be trying this out in the Timu multi cooker. So stay tuned for that. I don't know which hot pot we're going to be trying next week, but make sure you come back for self-heating Sunday suppers on a slice and a piece of cake. My friends, lots of content on my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hope you consider hitting the subscribe button. I feel like I've kind of hit the wall here in terms of subscribers. I'm at 380 subscribers. I see that 400 subscribers is just like, in the distance i can see it and i would really love to hit that milestone i just want to thank everyone who is on this youtube journey with me um supporting me i just appreciate each and every one of you we are getting close i can smell it now with the amount of sodium that's listed um don't think you want to be eating this all the time. In fact, maybe a Big Mac would be better. I just Googled how much sodium is in a Big Mac. So there's 460 milligrams in a Big Mac. This one has six. Oh, we're done. It's still steaming, so I'll wait till it dies down. But this one has, again, 6,370 milligrams of sodium. And a Big Mac has 460. So that's equivalent to like the sodium in 14 Big Macs. Oh my God. Maybe a Big Mac's a better option. I just think it's really unique, these soft heating meals. All right, still bubbling away. So we're gonna take a look at the hot pot. You can definitely smell the chili. Let's take a look. It's really oily. It probably doesn't need the dipping sauce because it's so chilly intense. So let's get tasting. It's very, very oily. So I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna taste the broth. But let me just stir this up. Oh, it's a very spicy. That's what I've noticed with these hot pots. They're very, very spicy, all of them. Bon appetit. So let me try some of the konjac noodles first. Oh boy, it's spicy. Ooh. Probably too spicy for me. This is the lotus root. It's so spicy, like my tongue is numb. I'm gonna try this dipping sauce. So that's what this dipping sauce looks like. I put some on a, a lotus root. Let me just try it. Mmm. It's like a peanut butter sauce.
That's not bad, the peanut butter sauce. This is so spicy, oh my goodness. Just to kill down some of the spice level, put the peanut butter sauce, but I don't know if it really goes together. Oh. I thought this was a tofu, but I don't think it is. I think it's fish, the croaker fish. I put some of this. Woo! I think I have redeemed myself, but Do I need to buy this shoe long can self-heating spicy seafood hot pot again? I don't think so, my friend. This is way, way out of my league in terms of spice level. I can, no, I can't handle my spices. Mm, too much. It's hot. Oh my goodness. I hope that you consider hitting the subscribe button. Meet me back here for a slice and a piece of K. I need some water. This is way too hot. We'll see you in the next video.